Flow cytometers can identify white cells in a blood sample by the size and shape of their nuclei. At the heart of one of these machines is a flow cell. Blood enters the flow cell through the center inlet. Sheath, which is mostly water, enters through the surrounding inlets, forming a tube around the sample stream inside the flow cell. The sheath, flowing faster than the sample, stretches it into a long, thin stream, so that one cell at a time passes through this aperture. A laser beam normally goes straight through the aperture, but a white blood cell's nucleus scatters some of the beam, as I'm illustrating by rotating the flow cell to change the incident angle. Every cell produces unique scatter, but cells of a particular type are more like each other than like other cell types. Even though one cell can't be identified by its own scatter, statistical analysis of the scatter clusters of all cells can identify them. The machine can identify known scatter cluster patterns, but discovering useful patterns in the first place requires the insight of a hematologist. I wrote the Dataman program to help them do this. It plots the data from each sample as recorded in a standard file format called FCS. Plots are histograms of one parameter or scatter plots of two. Other programs do this, but they are much more difficult to use when examining the thousands of samples usually needed to find new patterns. Dataman can open an FCS file and display all possible plots in less than a quarter second. Its automatic sequential file display at this rate, in effect, plays sample statistics as a movie, revealing patterns that otherwise would not be evident. I have optimized internal data structures and algorithms to achieve this high speed without special hardware. Dataman's main window is a thumbnail gallery of the plots. To show greater detail, a plot can be stretched without removing it from the gallery, or it can be pulled out as an independent window. It can be useful to determine where the cells that comprise a cluster in one plot appear in other plots. This is called gating. Assigning a gate type to a cluster in one plot automatically applies the gate color to those same cells in other plots. New gate types can be defined at any time and are immediately available for assignment. Dataman can zoom to show particular areas of plots without consuming screen space with the details of areas of less interest.